very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so I just wanted to share with you this amazing and very profitable week we just had in the premium forex signals group from extreme trader as you can see last Thursday we have sent all of the signals have reached the take profit number one at least plus euros D has reached the take profit number two making 60 pips of profit Friday we took it off for me and Angela and we didn't send any signals and then uh, th uh, Wednesday was actually a very profitable day as you can see Euro and ZD has made 120 pips of profit Euro pound 50 pips of profit and then Tuesday was also another great day with a very small tiny losses however Monday we didn't have a good day but however the losses were under control on Monday as you can see Monday was yeah as I said it was not a profitable day however please watch that, that the losses are, are under control and not even a one sing, not single signal has reached the stop loss and we closed them uh, earlier than that and thankfully we were able to recover the losses immediately the day after that can be seen actually in the feedbacks that we have received from the members they said that October 15 uh, thank you Salah and Angela for getting me a good profit uh, thanks Angela I'm enjoying the signals my first month and have made a lot of pips too many to count and thankfully everything here is well uh, I have closed everything with 15 pips uh, sorry 15 percent profit for the day and yes I can see here some really happy messages this guy here said something interesting I'm closing the trades before it hits take profit number one that's a new thing I didn't know about it that's a good thing actually uh, that's a good practice that I mean we are offering four options in our website but however it's really again I'm telling you it's really up to you how to handle the signals we are just telling you the signal and we are giving you the take profit levels and again it's really up to you how to handle the signals what do you want to do how do you want to manage it and this guy here he's saying that he closing the trades before hitting take profit number one and he's actually in a good profit so thankfully everything is going well and I'm very happy to see these good messages from the members and hopefully we we will continue to, to receive these very positive uh, messages and feedback so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video or you can visit our website www.extreme-trader.com uh, you can ju uh, just uh, click on the link below this uh, video and hopefully guys we will see you there all right my friends so let's now begin the weekly analysis and of course i want to remind everyone that the u.s elections is getting closer and of course it will affect the market uh, i believe this week is gonna be all right and we can predict how the market is gonna move but however the week after is not gonna be easy at all let's now see how the results is gonna be and what the guys um mr joe biden and mr trump what they will do uh let's see let's see we need to keep it in just keep it in our mind uh, also we need to check the upcoming economical news which actually might affect the market and from my point of view we need to keep our eyes on the speech of mr jerome paul uh the chair of the F um, federal reserve uh, he actually gonna talk about the uh, digital currencies and from my point of view this is not really gonna affect the market and uh, it depends of course on on what he's gonna say however if he was talking about the interest rates or the gold or something it's gonna be a major uh, thing but however uh, talking about the dig digital currencies i don't think it's really gonna affect the market until sorry unless he said something um, that actually can really affect the us dollar however let's just keep our mind on this uh, which is gonna be happen on monday at 12 pm gmt time so from my technical view, uh, let's look at the Euro USD. And as we can see, the Euro USD right now is, if we look at the daily candles, is moving in a bullish momentum. And it seems like the pair has actually tried to retest the broken support level right here on 1.17755. However, the pair has actually, uh, or the retest has failed and the price immediately went up above that support level. That means the Euro USD is gonna continue the growth and it seems like that is supported by also the weakness of the euro itself now uh, because uh, in Europe now they are announcing they are uh, preparing for a new lockdown and of course that has helped uh, the US dollar itself so the US dollar itself was really weak last week last week it was weak 
uh, however the euro now is getting weaker due to the news about the upcoming lockdown because of the uh, uh, the high cases of the COVID-19 therefore uh, euro USD should be good for the buy this week however we have to be ca careful about when we can start actually buying the pair so in my opinion right now uh, on the four hour time frame euro usd is actually reversing at that resistance however uh, right now the market has actually created a price action indicating for a bearish reversal and we have to wait for the right moment to start buying the euro usd now we can assume that the euro usd should, should be good for the buy at that support level however i think it's gonna even go below that support level to hit that previous resistance retesting it and then from that point here on 1.16720 is going to be actually more safe and better option to start buying the euro usd therefore usd should be good for the buy sorry uh, buy at the level 1.16720 and of course the safe zone is going to be ranging until the lower of that previous uh, that, that support level uh, let me just make it exactly there that's better so the, sa the safe zone is going to be ranging for almost 65 pips and that's fair enough i really doubt that the pair is going to even go below that level honestly speaking um maybe the pair or the euro usd, euro USD is going to actually start reversing after hitting that support level however i believe um from analyzing the DXY and uh, checking the weakness of the dollar itself, there is a possibility that the pair actually might go a little bit more down before it's going to be good for the buy. Therefore, we need to be careful and just giving you the safest entries possible. And just let's just let's just prepare for any unexpected movements from the pair. And of course, if that happens, we are looking for uh, the take profit level right here on 1.18273. And we can look for uh, almost 156 pips of profit. Hopefully, we will make them. So the take profit level is going to be 1.1. Shit, man. Sorry, hold on. Hold on, my friends. 1.18273. Hopefully, it's also going to be a very good signal. Let's take a look right now at the pound USD. Of course, as you can see, I have analyzed uh, the pairs uh, myself recently uh, b before, of course, recording. So looking at the daily candles, we can see that the pound USD right now is moving in a bullish trend and the trend is still moving up. Uh, especially that right now we are facing this strong key support level and right now the market is ranging at that support and from my point of view it's obviously here that the pair is actually gonna fall a little bit more down retesting that or sorry uh, respecting that support level which was also previously a resistance in the past and of course it's gonna also hit the uh, support trend line and then it's gonna continue moving up therefore Pound USD should be good for the buy this week. Uh, of course, not to mention that this price action here is a good price action indicating a bullish reversal, especially when, of course, we see it on a support level. So I think I think that the next week is going to be, or sorry, the, um, on Monday, we can expect the market to go a little bit more down to create what seems like a pin bar, and then it's going to continue the rise. Therefore, let's prepare for uh, buying the Pound USD. And we are going to buy the pair exactly from this level. Let me just um, make it more accurate. Yes, that is better. Um, just yes, perfect. Okay, so that is better point. Uh, sorry, pr better price. So let's buy the bound USD at one point two eight three one eight. And for the safe zone, of course, it's not going to be huge because we can expect the pair uh to fall a little bit more down against our direction but however in the end um we need to to keep in mind that if any or if the pair did not reverse at the point i'm expecting it means it's gonna actually make the break out from the support trend line and continue to fall more down therefore uh, the safe zone shouldn't really be uh be uh, big i think 43 pips should be fine just let me just drag it to the lowest level of the support level like that so let me just draw for you the edge of the or the, sh the shape of the safe zone so that's like it's like that and oh come on man all right 
we can keep the trade running until it hit of course the top of that resistance level so we can look for almost 230 pips of profit and the safe zone is going to be ranging for uh, 50 pips which is fair enough and let me just write for you the take profit level is going to be 1.30646 hopefully also is going to be another profitable signal let's look at the AUD USD, which is in my opinion a very clear and obvious signal that the market has actually made the break out from that strong key resistance level and right now it's retesting the broken resistance and it's becoming a new support and here we have very obviously a support number one and right now the market is falling to create support number two very basic and very clear uh, analysis in my opinion for the AUD USD and we can expect to start buying the pair exactly at this level of the previous support number one let me just drag it a little bit more up like that so AUD USD should be good for the buy at 0.70219 and the safe zone shouldn't be ranging for quite a long time because as I said the entry is clear so that should be fine enough um, the safe zone is going to be ranging until the next support so if in case the, fail, the pair is going to actually go below that support level it's going to reverse at the next support which was also previously a strong resistance remember right now I'm on the daily candles so the take profit level of course is going to be uh, the resistance right here we're going to aim that resistance exactly like this and uh, let's see uh, the tech profit level should be 0 0.71918 and the safe zone of course has like, like just like that let me, I, so, I, it's just sometimes uh, difficult to control actually i have to admit that i have problem with my mouse should be changed i mean i have already bought four mouses <laughs> i'm not happy with any one of them <laughs> anyway as you can see this is the signal for the AUD USD. hopefully it's gonna be a good signal let's look at the usd cad usd cad is clearly uh, reversing right now it has as we can see on friday night it has closed as a bullish candle and it seems like the pair is going to continue the rise a little bit more to hit the previous resistance which was of course a resistance one and it's going to create resistance number two now is that enough no we need to analyze more we need to look at the left and as we can see on the left side we can see this is strong resistance level and that resistance right now is going to be retested again from my point of view i think this resistance cannot be uh, breaking out from easily and therefore we can expect the pair that it will definitely rise a little bit more up to create resistance number two and reverse respecting that previous resistance and then it's going to continue falling all the way at least to hit that previous support therefore uh, what we can look for right now is for shorting the pair usd cad at 1.32332332 and the safe zone come on the safe zone should be ranging until that the peak of that resistance level so we're talking about yeah 40 pips only it's not too much it's uh, okay i think there is no need to make it higher than that in my opinion because um that is the, res the resistance zone as you can see and if the pair if the pair did not reverse at that resistance it means it's going to continue to rise until it hit that resistance level the, the, therefore the safe zone shouldn't be really that big so uh, we can start shorting the pair at the, that resistance and as i said the tech profit level is going to be at least that support level so we are looking for almost 134 pips of profit hopefully we will make them all take profit is 1.30988 so hopefully uh, this signal is also going to work well and will bring us lots of profits let's now check the usd gpy now from from um, technical view on the daily candle if we look at the uh, USD GPY we can see that the pair right now is moving in a bearish trend and as we can see that resistance trend line has been respected and the pair seems like it's falling down and on daily candles what we can see right here that this candle has a closed as a reverse hammer which indicating usually a continuation in the fall or the bearish reversal so the market seems like it's going to continue the fall we need to wait for the market to fall more for almost 73 pips before it's gonna be good for the buy um usd gpy this week is gonna be difficult 
because as I said, we are we are gonna we gonna wait for the pair to fall really a lot of pips before it's gonna be good for the buy. I cannot really tell you to start short the pair right now. Uh, because the general the general direction is gonna be for the uh, bullish. However, we need to wait for the right moment, and the right moment to start buying the USD GPY is gonna take a while. Therefore, um, there is a high chance the, that the signal for buying the uh, USD GPY is gonna not gonna be valid for this week or maybe midweek. We have to wait some time and see what will gonna happen. However, I have to be uh, giving I have to give you a safe signal. And I cannot risk uh, telling you to start buying the pair right now. So therefore, this is the signal for the USDGPY. As you can see, my friends, we're going to start buying the USDGPY at the support level. And the reason I have picked this entry is because, as you can see, this was a very strong key support level in the past that cannot be ignored as well. And therefore, we're going to start buying the pair if it has reached uh, that support level. And the tech profit level is going to be at least right here and by the way i'm looking here at that strong key support level and right here it was also a strong key support level so if we start buying the pair at this point we can expect for it to rise for almost 200 pips hopefully we will also make them all so take profit level is 106.584 hopefully also we will make all of them now let's check the USDCHF. USDCHF actually is going for the bearish. However, right now it's actually moving uh, up and we need to wait for the right moment to start shorting the pair. It's very obvious that we had right here a strong key support level and that was happened actually February 2020. And since the market has actually made the bearish, out, uh, bearish breakout from that support level, it has made so many attempts to break out from the support level. However, it has failed. Even when we finally have seen here a bullish breakout from that support level, the market went down again below that support. So the market actually did not hold the position of a bullish momentum. The bearish momentum is actually quite stronger and therefore we can expect from the, expect from the market after seeing a bullish uh, or a price action for a bullish continuation or a continu continu continuation for the rise, we can expect from the pair to rise a little bit more to hit that resistance again and then it's going to be good for the short. And definitely it's going to continue falling all the way at least to hit that level of the support. Yes, I know I'm talking too much. Sorry. So <laughs> let's go <laughs> with the signal. Uh, we need to short at 0 0.92120. And again, guys, I'm on the daily candle. So yeah, that might take a while. That might take a while. But however, we have to be careful. Um, that is the only signal valid I can see. Let, hold on. Let me just check something. Let me check something. Actually, we can change the signal. I mean, let me just... Of course, it's not just like opinions. We need to have some science behind that. So let me just draw a Fibonacci retracement. And we can check that the, the pair has actually reversed at 38.2. And it hit 50. It, hit, it has actually hit 50. So I believe we can rise this one a little bit more. Yes, that's actually going to be better. All right. Let's change because actually I want to mark it at the absolute, absolutely, or at the absolute uh, lowest bottom level of that previous support uh, level. So therefore, we can see that the pair has actually uh, been ranging at that level uh, when that support has become a new resistance. Yes, uh, my apologize. Let's just change the signal for shorting the USDCHF to be on 0 0.9903. Yes, that's better entry and the tech pro the safe the edge uh, of the safe zone should be ranging at least until the top of that resistance so we are talking about 50 pips which is fair enough uh let me just draw for you the safe zone it's just gonna be like that and the sell here and the take profit as i said is gonna be at least until it hit that the lowest level of the support so for the USDCHF we are looking for almost 100 and 100 pips of profit hopefully also we will make them 0 0.90871 hopefully it's going to be also a, a, a profitable signal and we will make some good profits out of it all right now let's check the gold the gold however my friends 
uh, seems like it's gonna be um, tough to trade again because as I said the US elections are is, is getting closer and the US currency is gonna be affected by that definitely I believe the investors are gonna head for the for the gold but however that's I think that's gonna happen next week not this week however let's now analyze the gold so from a technical view actually if we look at the gold we can see that right now we are actually trapped in the, inside this uh, support zone that is a support zone by the way so therefore it seems like the gold is going to continue the rise so if we draw here a resistance trend line as we can see like that by seeing this uh, uh, resistance trend line we can notice that it has recently uh, this oh sorry let me just say that this resistance trend line has been respected for three attempts until finally we have seen the bullish breakout from that resistance trend line and the pair of course has reversed at that previous support level and went down all the way retesting that previous re resistance trend line and, and it has become a new support trend line what happened after is that the pair has reversed and retested that resistance level and from my point of view it's now falling down retesting again that support trend line and then the pair is gonna be good for the buy as I said, the investors are going to head for the gold this time because it's more safe than the US dollar. And I think uh, they are gonna, uh, there will be some high demand on buying the gold this week. So therefore, we have to wait for the right moment to start buying the gold. And I think it's going to be exactly at the level of that support right there. So just to, I just want to make sure I'm giving a safe entry for everyone. Therefore, I select this support level right here because it was also on daily candles it was also a strong support right here and therefore we can expect that support to keep the position and it's gonna be more safe to start buying the gold at 1882 and if that happens we can look for really some good profit at least to hit that resistance level on 1965 so we can finally see the pair uh, rising above uh, 1900 therefore this is going to be the signal to start buying the gold and on on for our chart we can see uh, that this is le this level of support was really strong so we can keep the trade uh, or so we can start the trade or um, start the signal at 1882.20 i don't like to say 19 and therefore uh, the safe zone should be actually ranging until it hit that previous support level right there so we can look for almost uh, no that's a lot hold on okay the safe zone shouldn't be actually exceeding that previous support level uh give me a moment my friends i'm just it's not really easy to find this to analyze the signal uh, the gold yeah 88 two pips and if we ex no that should be fine yes should be fine should be fine that is gonna be okay let me tell you the confusion what is the confusion the confusion is gonna be actually if the pair gonna continue falling below that support level and actually it's gonna still be valid that is what I'm looking for if the pair is gonna continue falling below that support level I have given it is still gonna be valid therefore we can expect from the goal to reverse exactly uh, the support level of 1872 however i really think that we're having here a strong very strong support level and the gold seems like it's gonna start reversing at that support level so the safe zone should be actually uh, fine uh, let me just bring the the safe zone just a little bit below that support level that's fair enough so i don't want to set my uh, safe zone to be exact at the exact edge of the or sorry I don't want to set the edge of my safe zone to be at the exact level of the support level where the pair might actually reverse so I know I know so many people actually so many traders who follow me they set a stop loss right there right there I have seen in the comments some guys saying that gold has hit the stop loss even though I didn't give any stop loss I'm just telling you that this is a safe zone so we can close the trade only if we see a bearish breakout candle appeared from that support level however uh, if you want to set a stop loss right there it's, it shouldn't be it should it definitely shouldn't be at the lowest level of the support where we can expect from the pair to actually reverse that's that that's the point I'm trying to explain here and let's just set the take profit level to be at the resistance on 1922 
hopefully also it's gonna be a very good signal and we will make good profits out of it so uh, there goes your signals for this week i really hope uh, it's gonna be a profitable week and again i want to remind everyone please stay safe stay cautioned stay extra careful about the elections and please keep your eyes and keep your ears open to the news because any news any announcement any tweet from mr trump anything can actually change the whole signals that i have just sent you please pay attention my friends and be careful and again uh, i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching